Hi everyone, welcome to Zackstick. In today's tutorial, we're going to guide you through the process of installing Plex Media Server on an Ubuntu 22.04 VPS. Whether you want to create your own media streaming server or just explore the capabilities of Plex on Linux VPS, this guide is for you. Let's dive in. I will use a Contabo VPS to install the Plex Media Server. Installing Plex Media Server on a VPS that is a virtual private server can offer several benefits depending on your specific requirements and use cases. A VPS allows you to host Plex in a centralized location, making it accessible from anywhere with an internet connection. This is particularly useful if you want to stream your media content while away from home. VPS providers typically offer high levels of uptime and reliability. Hosting Plex on a VPS ensures that your media server is available consistently, minimizing downtime and interruptions in media streaming. VPS services often provide the flexibility to scale resources such as CPU, RAM, and storage based on your needs. If your media library grows or you experience increased usage, you can easily adjust the resources allocated to your Plex server. VPS providers typically offer high-speed internet connections and sufficient bandwidth, ensuring smooth and high-quality media streaming. This can be beneficial, especially when serving content to multiple users simultaneously. Setting up Plex on a VPS can be a valuable learning experience, especially for individuals who want to gain more knowledge about server management, Linux, and networking. Keep in mind that while a VPS can offer these advantages, it may also involve additional costs compared to hosting Plex on a local server. Additionally, the decision to use a VPS depends on your individual preferences, technical expertise, and specific use case scenarios. First thing you need to do is connect to your VPS. Ensure that your system is up to date. Run these commands. Install the required packages for Plex by running this command. The first thing you have to do is to add the Plex apt repository to your system and import the repository's GPG key. After you have your repository enabled, you need to update the apt package list. Now you can install Plex Media Server on your Linux Ubuntu server using the following command. You can check the service status to verify if the Plex is running or not via this command. You can exit by pressing the letter Q. To ensure Plex Media Server starts automatically on system boot, you can enable the service using this command. You can restart the service by running this command. I recommend you enable the firewall and configure it to allow traffic on the Plex-specific ports. Also allow SSH through the firewall.
This is the default Plex Media Server port. This is the default port for SSH, so you can connect to the server using the SSH protocol. Now, open your web browser and go to the VPS IP address and add the default port number for Plex to access the Plex web interface. Since we are installing on a VPS, we need a secure connection when connecting to the Plex server. We later have to install an SSL certificate. To do that, you need to purchase a domain name. You can purchase a cheap one from Namecheap. The link is in the video description. After purchasing one, you need to create an a record pointing to your VPS server. We can now access the Plex server using a domain name instead of using an IP address. Plex is now up and running. For full utilization of Plex, it's necessary to establish an account. Moreover, you have the option to create a free Plex account by clicking on the Google, Facebook, Apple, or email buttons. If you wish to unlock Plex server's premium features, consider purchasing a Plex Pass plan. Let us secure Plex with Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. When installed, Plex Media Severs work without reverse proxy. This is not secure as credentials can travel across the internet unprotected when you are using HTTP instead of HTTPS. Go to the terminal and install Apache Web Server on your VPS machine. Next, create a virtual host for the Plex server. Add the following content to the newly created file. Remember to replace the server name with your own domain name. Save the file when you are done by pressing Ctrl then X. Enable the created site and other modules by running these commands. Allow HTTP through the firewall. Let us now install the required package for us to use Let's Encrypt to issue a free signed certificate. Before we proceed check the Apache status. If you see this error run this command. This means there is something checking your Apache status so install a text based browser. Restart the Apache server. The Apache server is now running and it is active. It can now issue a certificate by running this command.
Just enter the number one I made a mistake instead I typed the domain name. The certificate has now been installed you can check whether your connection to the VPS is now secure. Let us open port 443 in the firewall and try again. As you can see the connection is now secure. Since we have installed Plex Media Server on a remote headless server, we need to set up an SSH tunnel to run the initial configuration. If you have not installed OpenSSH on your local Linux machine, install it now. OpenSSH is already installed on my local Linux Mint machine. Run this command replace the IP address with the IP address of your own VPS server. Plus you can create a user account with admin rights instead of using the root account to install Plex. This will create an SSH tunnel, so you can launch the initial setup for you to configure your Plex server. Now you can access the Plex Media server by opening the following address in your web browser to access the initial setup. You will be redirected to the page on which you will see details about how Plex works. Go through these brief explanations quickly and click on the Got It button. You will be prompted to upgrade to Plex Pass, which is optional you can upgrade if you want if not just close the window. On the next page, you need to type your Plex server name. Do not uncheck the Allow Me to Access My Media Outside My Home box option. Now, it's time to include a media library. Click the Add Library button, and when the pop-up window appears, select the type of media. Choose Movie or any other desired library type, and then proceed by clicking Next. Now click on the browser for the media folder and then add the path to the directory which contains the movie's media files. I will use FileZilla to connect to the VPS server and create a movie folder. This is just for demonstration you can create one say in the opt folder or any other folder you want. Let me transfer one video file to the movie folder.
You can download or install apps on your mobile devices, Windows machines and so on. And there you have it. Plex Media Server is successfully installed and configured on a Linux Ubuntu 22.04 VPS. You can now enjoy streaming your favorite media across different devices. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.